Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday, the 22nd of June. Unsettled weather is the story. Rain chances above average for the next few days. Temp temperatures are way down from the um, awfully hot weather we've seen here in recent weeks. And other than the severe weather element with the strong winds, that's a good thing. Uh, let's go to some of the sky cam shots around the network early this morning. First off from uh, Birmingham. That's looking north, and at that spot, the peak wind was 63 miles per hour yesterday. And we had uh, downed trees and power lines in parts of Jefferson, St. Clair, Etowah, Blunt counties with those uh, afternoon storms. They packed quite a punch. That's a trustful sky cam. The peak wind gust there was uh, similar in the mid-60s, about 65 miles per hour. But things are calm this morning. And down in Auburn, that's our sky cam uh, near the campus of Auburn University in Lee County. Oh, man, look at that trough just crushing the ridge, beating that thing down. And accordingly, that opened the door for the increase in convection yesterday. And look at the MCS over Texas this morning. And, uh, you know, kind of like us, they've been awfully dry, and they welcome that rain. They've got a lot of thunder and lightning with that, obviously, but uh, good rain's falling there this morning. Uh, San Antonio up to Texas A&M at College Station, up toward Tyler and Longview. And uh, that is a celebration for South Texas. At the moment, things are quiet on the watch warning map. But later today, convection will be active again. And look at that slight risk of severe weather over much of North Alabama. Now, that runs all the way from uh, northeastern Texas up to the Great Lakes. And that includes uh, basically the Interstate 5920 corridor and points north. And uh, like yesterday, the main risk will be from strong straight line winds and maybe some hail. Uh, this is not our tornado season. Tornadoes are extremely rare in, uh, in summer here in June unless there's a landfalling hurricane involved. Tomorrow, slight risk again for extreme North Alabama near the Tennessee border. And on day three, which is Friday, a slight risk for North Alabama. And it's the same deal, potential for strong winds with those heavier storms. And hey, 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 look at those numbers coming up on that QPF chart. This is the rain through the weekend, through Sunday evening at 7 o'clock, bullseye, Athens, Alabama, 3.6 inches, 2.5 inches, uh, down around Demopolis. And, and, of course, again, I stress that every day the rainfall distribution will not be very even. But if you average out the amounts we see over the next five days, I think those numbers are very doable. In fact, some spots had well over one inch yesterday with the heavier storms. So that is a welcome thing here. And the tropics are just so quiet. And I thought I'd peek at the uh, Sahara air layer uh, analysis. And you see all those shades of reds and, and yellow out there. That's very dry air coming off the desert of Africa. And it just seems like there's so much dry air out there across the Atlantic Basin. And again, it's, it's early for systems to form out there in the deep tropics. But uh, I think that's keeping things quiet there. And close to home, the Gulf is not dry. And we'll see if any homegrown systems can kind of, kind of form in the backyard down there in coming weeks. All right, the GFS. This is the OZ run at 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. There's your trough. And down below that, more of the same. Unsettled weather. Good chance of showers and storms today. Highs upper 80s. The GFS is printing 87. The NAM is printing 86. Same deal tomorrow, very moist air, stall front north of us, scattered to numerous showers and storms. Now, uh, the GFS wants to run the high back up to 94, but the NAM is showing 88. And I think the NAM is closer to the truth. We'll say highs between 87 and 90, and the exact same thing on Friday. The weakness in the ridge persists, scattered to numerous showers and storms. All right, planning a weekend. Well, let's see what we got here. This is Saturday, 1 o'clock, and again, the you see the clear weakness in the ridge here. Now, the 588, 588 contour is off to the east and off to the west. And again, the weather's just not going to change much. The sun will be out at times, but it will rain at times on Saturday. Uh, highs probably at or just over 90. So the excessive heat, not a problem. 
And very much the same thing on Sunday. The sun will be out at times, but just keep in mind a passing shower or storm likely a time or two during the day. Monday of next week, no real change. And Tuesday, the ridge begins to get stronger. The 588 contour is north of us, but still there's some moisture trapped down below that. Below that, But that will certainly suggest highs go back up in the mid-90s and the number of showers decrease. And there's Wednesday of next week. So, uh, again, uh, by the middle of next week, heat up, rain chances go down a bit. We'll dig a little deeper. How about the 4th of July? And doesn't that look like the 4th of July? Winds aloft over much of the nation, light and variable. The westerlies are in Canada, 594 circle around the four corners, and that's just hot, steamy, with maybe a passing storm in the afternoon, just what you'd expect on the 4th of July. Into the forecast, July 7th, pretty much the same deal. Ridging, hot, muggy, scattered, afternoon storms possible. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless. Being Alabama's news leader means digging deeper to get you the facts, working harder so you have all sides of the story and not being afraid to tell the truth. Every day you award us by making ABC 3340 Alabama's most watched news. And now the Associated Press has named us Alabama's most outstanding news operation. That's nine times since 1996, more than all other stations combined. And that's nine more reasons you should trust the news leader. ABC 3340.